If somehow you haven't heard, I don't like switch statements, in particular in TypeScript. I feel like a lot of the benefits of type systems get missed when you use a switch statement and things that even basic if else checks will handle properly. Although we're not perfectly there just yet, there were some recent changes to TypeScript that are very exciting that make switch statements, specifically switch true statements, a little bit more type safe and a lot more viable going forward. Huge shout out to Mateus, the contributor who added this to TypeScript in version 5.3. We'll all have access very soon when 5.3 becomes the main release. It's still in beta. That doesn't mean we can't show it off a bit and see how we're going to benefit. Without further ado, let's dive into the code. Super simple example, I have some element, which can be X, Y, or Z. I have an element, which is bound to Z as some element. I did this so that we don't have the type of Z clobbering the greater title. And now I have a switch statement, notably a switch true statement. You'll see here that we have case element is equal to X. So we should be able to know here that element is X. Sadly, we don't because TypeScript wasn't smart enough before to evaluate here that this check is basically an if check. Like this syntax with switch true is kind of doing a chain of if else checks. Because of that, we can have relative confidence that this is something that it's not because for this case to run, this has to evaluate to true. The change that was made by Indarist is actually pretty hype. If we switch over to the nightly, same exact code, element is now correctly inferred to be type X. So if you're checking to see if something's an object or an array or any of these other things, this works great. The thing it doesn't do sadly, and I was actually surprised to learn this, is if we handle cases exhaustively. So we'll handle X and Y both and break after both. Now we know that default has to be Z because we already left the X case and the Y case. So this not knowing is really frustrating. If we were to do this as if statements, if element equals X else, if element equals Y else, and we can do the same check in here where I going. You'll see here, if we turn this into if statements, this all works as expected. We can infer the else case, which is the equivalent of a default with a switch true, that element Z is what we have here. It really sucks that switch statements are not in a state where we can reliably infer that deeply through things. I genuinely wish we could, but I still, generally speaking, recommend that we go with a pile of if checks at this point in time. Again, frustrating that switch true doesn't go that deep, but that doesn't mean that this change isn't a huge win because it absolutely is. For the people who use switch true statements, you now in your cases actually know your types. That's a huge win. Exciting to see people improving these edges in TypeScript, but God, do I want pattern matching so badly. I still feel like we're far away from the ergonomic win we need here. And these small patches, as great as they are, and like I am probably going to use this and I will probably use switch true more because of this. As great as it is, it hasn't solved the fundamental D issues around patterns and type narrowing in a pile of cases within TypeScript. I don't have too much else to say on this one. I'm hyped to see TypeScript continue to improve and switch statements are just that little bit more viable now than they were before. What about you? Do you use switch statements? Do you have any thoughts on things like this and pattern matching? Put a video in the corner here all about pattern matching and why I can't wait for it to come to JavaScript eventually, maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed. Regardless, appreciate you all a ton. Thank you guys as always. Peace nerds.